Hey everyone! Welcome back to Medical Lab Simplified, where lab reports become easy. Today, we're breaking down one of the most common yet most confusing blood tests, CBC, Complete Blood Count Test. Doctors often say, get a CBC done, but when the report arrives, it feels like a secret code. Well, not anymore. By the end of this video, you will be able to understand any CBC report with confidence. So make sure to watch till the end. What is CBC? CBC is like a health snapshot of your blood. It mainly checks three important things in your blood. The red blood cell that carry oxygen along the body. White blood cells that fight against disease causing microbes to prevent infections. And most importantly your platelets, which help in making a clot and stop bleeding. Let's go one by one, in simple terms. Hemoglobin. Hemoglobin tells whether your body is getting enough oxygen to perform all body functions efficiently. Its normal range differs in males and females. In males it's 13 to 17 grams per deciliter and in females it's 12 to 15 grams per deciliter. If the hemoglobin is low that means anemia and you may feel tired, weak, or dull. High hemoglobin indicates dehydration or smoking effects. Now let's talk about RBC, red blood cell count. It tells us how many oxygen-carrying cells are present in one microliter of blood. Normal range of red blood cells in males is 4.5 to 5.9 million cells per L of blood and N. Females is 4.1 to 5.1 million cells per L. If RBC is low it indicates anemia, blood loss, nutritional deficiency, or bone marrow issues. If RBC is high it can be due to dehydration, smoking, lung disease, or living at high altitudes. So hemoglobin tells quality of blood, and RBC tells quantity of red cells. WBC count. WBCs are your body's defense soldiers. They fight against infections. Normally you should have 4,000 to 11,000 WBC per mul. High WBC indicates that your body is fighting against infection or inflammation. Low WBC count reveals viral illness or weakened immune system. To understand what kind of infection your body is fighting against we check differential WBC count. There are five further types of white blood cells. Neutrophils. If neutrophils are higher than 40 to 60 percent it indicates a bacterial infection, and if it's lower then it indicates typhoid. Lymphocytes. They are important markers of viral infections. If from total WBC count 20 to 40 percent are lymphocytes it indicates viral infection, and if it's low then your immune system is weak. Eosinophils. Normally 1 to 6 percent of total WBCs, they are elevated in allergic conditions and protect your body from parasites. Monocytes. They tells that your body is suffering from chronic infection. Basophils. They are also elevated in allergic conditions as they release histamine and are involved in IgE production. Platelet count. They are the most important in a CBC report as they prevent bleeding and foam clots. Normally a human body should have 1,50,000 to 4,50,000 platelets. Low platelets count is dangerous as it increases the risk of bleeding. Low platelets are seen in viral fevers like dengue and malaria. High platelets are often seen after infection or inflammation. MCV and MCHC mean cell volume and mean cell hemoglobin concentration. These two values help us understand which type of anemia you may have. Low MCV indicates iron deficiency anemia. And if MCV is high you are most probably suffering from vitamin B12 or folate deficiency. So next time you see a CBC report, just remember. Hemoglobin equals oxygen levels. WBC equals infection status. Platelets equals clotting or bleeding risk. If this video helped you understand CBC clearly, hit like, share it with friends, and comment below which